Hi everyone, my name is Puddin Dave and I'm an art therapist and a kundalini yoga teacher and a Reiki master and I'm here today to talk to you about this process of channeling and this is a word that kind of has been thrown around or um, been put more into the mainstream as of late, um, especially with kind of the publication of things like Abraham Hicks, um, you know, talking about the law of attraction and kind of drawing channeling more into the public eye in that way. But I really was called to make a video to talk about exactly what channeling is because I feel like it still kind of remains this kind of mystical thing. Um, and so today I'd like to just talk about what the process is and how it works and what it means. And then um, I'm also going to channel a message from Gaia, which is the spirit of Mother Earth. So when we think about channeling, um, just really simply a way to define it is kind of opening up to receive guidance and intuition and um, knowledge from a source that is coming from beyond your thinking mind. So you can think about it as um, coming from spirit, from source, from God, or just from something bigger than you, if none of those terms resonate with you. And it's not something that's only selective to um, certain people. I really believe that everyone has the ability to channel in their own unique way that is um, individual to them. So you don't have to be like a certain special type of person to channel. Um, I think all of us are conduits for that flow of creativity and knowledge to come through us. And the way that it comes through you might be through, you know, uh, receiving insights when you're talking to your children, or maybe you channel different knowledge and guidance through the through your career or through art that you make or through lots of different things that doesn't have to look like channeling in this specific way. So I think it's important to understand that there's not just one way to channel and that everyone can, has the ability within them to open up to that flow. And one of the most important things that I have found um, in the type of channeling work that I do is that it's really important to be able to quiet and still your mind um, because because this information is coming from beyond your thinking mind it's really necessary to find a way to quiet the thoughts so that that information can come through more clearly so some of the most important elements in regards to channeling are just simply your intention to do so in whatever way that you're most called to do that and the willingness to open up um, and it does also require a certain amount of trust in uh, trusting yourself that you're able to receive the information and also trusting the information that's coming through and verifying that it is authentic information um, I started channeling about two years ago and you know it was definitely a learning process for me where you know, I really kind of went through this experience of learning to hear more clearly with time and it really, it did take practice like anything else. Um, and with practice, I started to get messages more easily, more quickly, and I started to um, get more messages, you know, as I build up kind of my ability to, to hold the space and to clear my mind. And um, so now I'm at the point where I'm offering monthly channeling sessions um, out of my home. So they're group channeling sessions and kind of how that works is I just call upon whatever beings are in the highest uh, good of the group and they deliver a group message that's applicable to everyone. And then people also receive individual messages as well. So the beings that I channel most frequently are Gaia, that's Mother Earth. I also channel Archangel Michael, Archangel Metatron, um, 
Isis, the goddess, Mother Mary, Kuan Yin. So a lot of different beings come through and um, I don't always know who's going to come through, but I trust that it's for the highest good. And I did receive some uh, guidance from Gaia to offer one of these video sessions on a monthly basis. And she wanted to send a message to humanity um, through my channeling and just to kind of impart a message of encouragement and hope and trust and love at this time of great change that's going on in the world. And also to help people connect with channeling a little bit more so it's not this really, you know, kind of mystical thing that's um, really not well understood. So I'll be offering these monthly messages from Gaia through this uh, video session. So I hope that through this you are able to connect a little bit more um, to that intuitive knowing and um, truth that resides within you. Thank you. Hello, dear ones. It is I, Gaia, your great mother, who comes to you now. I am here to receive you with open and loving arms and with unconditional love for the beautiful divine beings that you are. Each of you moving forward steadily on a path of transformation and growth and evolution that is perfectly suited and unique to you. Just as you are in your process of becoming that which you came here to be. It is my desire to provide a forum to reach you, those of you wide and far, so that you may hear my messages in this manner. And that is not to say that you do not have the ability to reach me on your own, for you most certainly do, for it is your divine birthright to connect with spirit or with source or with me, for I simply serve as a mirror back to you reflecting the truth of who you really are. And yet, as this dear one here has pointed out, the process of learning to listen and to tune in can sometimes be challenging at first. And so I wish to speak my message through her words to reach all of you and to bring these messages of comfort and encouragement to your hearts during this time of ascension and rapid change in your world. These sessions will be offered on a monthly basis and each month I shall discuss the particular energetic constellation of the month at hand. So we begin in your month of July, the seventh month of your calendar year, today being the 4th of July, your day of freedom and independence. And it is no coincidence indeed that this message is coming through today. For what I wish to share with your, you, dear ones, is that this is the time and the month and the day and the moment and the second to begin to claim your freedom in all aspects of your life. Whether it be freedom in your physical body to move in the way you wish to move or to to dress in the way you wish to dress or to express yourself with creativity and joy and ease, or whether it be related to freedom in your relationships with whom you spend your time with or even in regards to your relationship with yourself, or perhaps it is freedom in regards to your job or your career, that which you do to 
spend your time. Perhaps it is the freedom to make the decision to take that trip that you have so long to take for many years. Or perhaps it is simply the freedom given to yourself to try something new, something which you have yearned to try but have not done before now. Now is the time, dear ones. It is not the time to wait anymore. Now is the time to take the leap, so to speak, in the warmest and most, mm, how shall we say, adventurous time of your year, your summertime. It is the time to reap the benefits of that which you have been cultivating and harvesting in months prior to now. It is the time of full blossoming, full ripening of your heart towards the light. It is your time to claim the light inside of you, which is synonymous with claiming your freedom. Your true birthright is freedom, dear ones. So there is no way for you to cast the blame to something or to someone outside of yourself, for you are utterly and totally free in every aspect of your being. The only limitations which you find before you are the ones that you have created for yourselves, for you are that powerful in your ability to manifest and to orchestrate the circumstances of your lives so not only have you created the beneficial situations but you have created the challenging ones as well so any limitations that you perceive upon your freedom were indeed created or co-created by you and another being and therefore dear ones it is completely within your power and within the power of your heart and your intention to destroy those limitations much in the same way that you created them in the first place. So this is what your month of July is about, is celebrating the sovereignty of your being, celebrating your ability to create in total freedom and joy the fulfillment of your heart's greatest desires. The energy at this time, dear ones, is unlike the energy of any time that has preceded it. The energetic atmosphere at this time is heightened and is continuing to expand and to grow just as humanity's consciousness is continuing to expand and break through the thresholds which have held it back for so long. Now is the time for you to blossom forth into your fullest extension of yourself. Now is the time for you to individually break through any thresholds which have, as of now, held you back. From becoming the fullest expression of yourself that you came here to be. There is no room anymore to make excuses or to fall into a victim role and to become defensive or to make accusations to others who have uh, reportedly held you back. For as we have discussed, there is no one that can truly hold you back except yourself. So you must stop giving your power away now, dearest ones. Now is not the time to continue giving away your power to sources outside of you. It is time to turn within and to dig into the gold mine that exists within your heart and in your mind and to source your power from that truth and i would like to provide some examples 
that are concrete in nature that you might find practical and applicable to these concepts in your everyday life. So, for example, we shall discuss the habit of self-talk and how that can dramatically affect how you are able to source your power from within. Dear ones, how many of you can relate to the habit of negative self-talk or belittling self-talk, such as telling yourself that you cannot do it, that you are not worthy enough, or comparing yourself to another and finding yourself inadequate in some way, or feeling that you will not ever be able to measure up to another's expectations of you and telling yourself this through your thoughts. These are actions which do not serve you And they do not serve the establishment of empowerment within your being. And so for all of you who find yourselves falling into the habit of negative self-talk, I encourage you this month to begin to release that by replacing them with more positive affirmations. And these affirmations may be just a few words. They may be several words, but what is most important is not so much the words themselves, but rather the intention behind them. So you may select an affirmation such as, I am worthy of receiving the fulfillment of my dreams. Or I am empowered, worthy, and capable in all aspects of my life. Allow the words to emerge from your heart. And I highly recommend trying to state these affirmations in front of a mirror. And you may do this every day if you wish when you wake up. You will find, dear ones, that mirror work is some of the most powerful, impactful, and meaningful work that you can do. It is quite potent in unraveling negative beliefs that have been seeded within your psyche and in downloading new, more empowering and positive beliefs to take their place. So this is an example of one simple act that you can do for this month of your July. Another example of a concrete exercise that you can do is spending more time doing what you love. So you may practice taking the obligations that weigh you down off of your shoulders. And perhaps for this month, giving yourself permission to do one thing every day that brings you joy. And dear ones, this might be an action that takes as little as five minutes, such as watching the sunrise in your backyard or journaling for a few minutes in the morning Maybe it is playing with your dog or your pet or spending some time with your child. Whatever this action is, pick something that is aligned with your heart and that provides you with the feeling of expansion, freedom, and joy. This joy is a natural extension of who you are. So the more that you can align with the vibration of joy and freedom and love, the more you will become aligned with your inner being, your soul.
One last example of an exercise that you may do in your July month is to spend some time outside in nature. You may think of it as time connecting with the Great Mother, me, your Gaia, your Mother Earth. And spending as little as 10 minutes outside whenever you can, ideally on a daily basis, will allow your electromagnetic field to adjust its frequency to that of mine. You may ground your feet into my firm soil. You may spend time outside with the trees allowing the breeze to cleanse you and purify your being. You may spend time by a lake or water, listening to the sound of the waves. Whatever or wherever you spend this time, allow it to nurture your soul from within and allow it to serve as a reflective mirror that mirrors back to you your own utter freedom and truth. Through this process, your very cells will recall the memory of who you really are, for it is stored within them, deep within your cellular DNA. And through these basic and simple processes that are quite accessible and realistic, you can quite easily begin to awaken that remembrance of your truth. It is my wish for humanity that all beings awaken to the truth of their sovereign and divine nature as creator and to their connection to one another and to me. This truth is always there. It never goes away. However, the truth can become shrouded at times by layers of humanity's confusion and misdirection. But in truth, dear ones, there is nothing to fear, for you are beings made in the image of love, just like the love that birthed you into being. You are no different from that creative force. It is all around you always. It is within you. And all you need to do to find it is to quiet the mind and enter the space of the heart. And it is there that you will find me. I love you all, dear ones. You are beloved to me and I am always here for you. And so it is.